Hi guys. Um, just getting on here to share a quick message today. Of course, if you have me on Facebook and haven't unfollowed me, possibly, um, then you would know if you didn't that today is Autism Awareness Month, which I'm going with acceptance, Autism Acceptance Day, whatever. Um, I just like that word better. Um, it was also the word that came to me for my word of the year. So it's all about acceptance this year, and I'm, I'm really trying to accept, you know, this virus that's keeping me at home more than I already was. But <laughs> anyways, um, so one of the things that uh, the autistic community is doing this year is um, wanting those who maybe haven't already or even those who have to be able to uh, come out in the world and just come out as being autistic. So today I am coming out as being autistic and my name is Sarah, so finally glad to get to be able to do that on video because I know that if you're on my Facebook, you have probably seen me post like 50 billion things on this and um, like have no idea <laughs> why. And for me, uh, it's kind of like you're missing something your entire life and you're not really sure what that was. And you have all the other important things like, you know, if you have a religion or whatever. Uh, but there's just still something that you feel deep down that you, it's like a word that you're needing to know. And for me, that word was autism. And, um learning about this and being able to share it has really helped me and I hope is helping others that maybe don't know that they're autistic to know more about themselves, especially females out there because a lot of them get skipped and that's just how it goes, unfortunately. Um, and there's a lot of information on that. I could go on forever, but like there's a bazillion YouTube videos, so you can ask me about it. But, um, anyways, uh, I am just super pumped to finally be able to get out there and say that and to be able to know myself, like, some of the struggles I have and why I've always had them, not even recent ones, but since I was a child and, like, um, just not understanding why I did things a certain way as far as the struggles part of it or, you know, why I liked certain things or why I acted a certain way um, socially or otherwise. And so to me, being able to like open what seemed like a tiny little box became like more and more boxes and they're all over the place. <laughs> Maybe that's my ADHD that I also have. But anyways... Um, it's helped me understand, uh, even more people, uh, around me or at least try to be able to do that in order to, uh, or understand myself in order to understand like how I communicate and, um, you know, some of the struggles that I have with, uh, the senses and, and having sensory issues and things like that and, um, just being able to learn different things that, um, I've got to get used to looking at the camera. See, and I definitely don't like looking at people in their eyes either. It's never been a thing of mine. Like I'll probably look at the ground. So now I got to look at this little thing, but anyways, um, just being able to finally understand everything on how my brain works and, uh, you know, being around certain people and having, having friends that kind of, even if they're not autistic or on the spectrum, that they're willing to like kind of learn about those things or I can kind of be open about it and say like, Hey, look, this is what I struggle with. And it's been so much easier for me to explain that, um, and get it out there, even though it's hard. Um, so that, uh, there's not so many social communication issues. I mean, it's kind of like both sides working and not just on that note, but just like learning like things that I 
do actually like and not masking and trying to be somebody else my entire life. And um, I'm just, you know, ready to have this part of my life open and to meet new people in this community. And um, anyways, proudly autistic. Bye.